In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ, I am Father Immanuel. I will and I will like share with you a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Sunday, 2nd April 2023. The readings are taken from Matthew 21, 1-11, Isaiah 50, 47, Psalm 21, 8-9, 17-20, 23-24, Philippians 2, 6-11, and Matthew chapter 26, verse 14 to chapter 27, verse 66. The theme of the reflection is how to turn sorrow into glory. How to turn sorrow into glory. Today is Palm Sunday. The reading before the blessing of the palms tells us that Jesus rode a young donkey into Jerusalem. His disciples spread palm leaves and their cloths on the ground for Jesus to ride the donkey on. While they sang Hosanna to him, Hosanna in the highest. He did this to turn sorrow into glory. This is because he was aware that when he entered Jerusalem, he was going to be killed. So he should have been sad, sorrowful, and worried. However, he organized a procession, a big procession, and entered Jerusalem like a king who has won a battle because he knew that if he died doing the will of God, he will win victory over the devil. He would win victory over the devil. The, to show that his weapons are humility, non-violence, and, obe and obedience to God, he rode not a horse, but a young donkey, a symbol of humility and peace. This implies that to turn our sorrows into joy, we need the virtue of praising God in the midst of soul, praising God in humility and peace. Then, the first reading shows that to turn sorrow into glory, we need a disciple's ear. The reading says that every morning the Lord wakes the prophet Isaiah up to listen to his word. This enables him to do the will of God, to comfort the sorrowful, and to act peacefully to people who offend him or persecute him. So, to turn sorrow into glory, we need to pray that the Lord will give us a disciple's ear, that is, an obedient ear. The second reading is a confirmation that an obedient ear can turn sorrow into glory. It says that Jesus left the glory of heaven, humbled himself, and came down to the earth and was obedient to God to the point of death. Due to that, God exalted him and gave him a name which is above every name. Then the gospel demonstrates practically how Jesus was obedient to God up to death. This means that doing the will of God, no matter the situation in which we find ourselves, is the way to turn sorrows into joy. Jesus left the glory of heaven and came down to this earth to teach and empower us. Therefore, let's unite ourselves with him, especially when we find it difficult to obey God to praise him or to do his will. When we unite ourselves with him, his power will work in us to enable us turn our souls into glory. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, be filled with the power of praise, humility and obedience, and constant union with God. In the name of Jesus, victory over every evil will always be your portion. Amen. Can I promote this ministry by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel? It is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. May Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.